first place blue eyes bitch deck Again. profile. I faced Madolce first. Yeah. Then I played against Steven's Pendulum Tier Elements. Okay. <laughs> then I faced against Tier. And then I faced against Branded Bista in the finals. He and Steven actually built this together. Yes. Uh, at my house. Yes. And we actually fine tuned it. I think it's like the best, the best list. All right, guys, let's get in the deck profile. Here we go. All right, guys, first with the blue eyes cards, play double blue eyes white dragon. Stop! Wait, wait, wait. Before we get into this blue eyes deck profile, I have some big news. And you're probably thinking, Triff, why are you sweating, bro? Are you sw are you? I am sweating. Are you sweating or balding? Or both? Well, I'm sweating because I I'm running, right? I'm running away from Yu-Gi-Oh! into this new game, Elestros! From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestros. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestros Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. Check it out, it is a combination of both of all three of Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic and Pokemon in a triple threat greatness! Imagine a triple threat match of The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Undertaker, but all three of them win because it's the best of all three of them into one fighter, Triff Gaming, but in a card game, Elestrals. Let's go. Go check out the Kickstarter down below. Check out the gameplay video that I posted yesterday where I did a vlog with Triff Jr. That's right, my brother. We had an amazing vlog where we played Elestrals and it was an absolute blast. So go check it out down below. And let's get into this blue eyes deck profile. Let's go. Only two. Uh, no, 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 no need for three because it's not a pure blue eyes deck. Uh, so and the one one alternative, uh, only one copy of this in the deck. Uh, you can always search for Melody of the Awakened Dragons. Yeah. And the way this deck works with the Mist is that you can always recycle these cards. And I'll explain you guys how uh, uh, in a second. Uh, but yeah, uh, the alternative is nice. It's a great one for removal. And it's search for Melody uh, and the Jet Dragon. Uh, Jet Dragon is really good. Uh, Steven didn't know what it's, this card yeah. did <laughs> uh, in our match. Uh, what people try to do with this deck is they try to pop the Branded Beast. Uh, with you know, you know their cards or whatever, but they can't pop Bandit Beast while this cards are on the field. And the, oh, the only way this effect works is when you have blue eyes on the field or in the graveyard. So you have to be really mindful of that. Uh, and also in the battle phase, if anything tries to attack, he gets to bounce a card, uh, which is insane. So it's a compulse, and also it protects all cards. All cards cannot be destroyed by card effects. All cards, spell, trap, yeah. whatever. All cards, not that just was, monsters. That was crazy. Uh, so man. this card on the field is insane, and it's a, it can be easily brought out with white Soul ancient during the end phase, right? So card just really, really good. Just great recursion. Once it's in the graveyard, it will always come back, and it reoccurs anytime you pop something. So usually, what I do is I'll make access code. Access code pop my opponent's stuff, and then once a card is destroyed, this card comes back to your side of the field. Wow. All right. So like even access code popping, this card provides back itself, which is insane. So that's the blue eyes engine. Of course, Triple Sage, Eyes of Blue, uh, card insane, best tuner in the deck. Uh, what, what I like to do with this deck is that, uh, you know, like, sometimes if you want to get your Bissett cards, like, off the field to get access to level 8 monster, uh, like, what you can easily do is, like, uh, if you summon, of course, what's his name, um, uh, Magnemut, you can, like, if you need, like, a, a level 8 body, uh, you know, for, like, Titanic Galaxy, you can always even send Sage with the monsters to the graveyard. Uh, it's something blue eyes directly from the deck, so you have, like, access to level 8 monsters, so you get access to Titanic Galaxy, you don't already problematic cards in the field, and it's also additional Spell the gate, right? Which is really good. So it has like uses of just searching as a tuner, summoning, summoning its almost on the field to search your tuners, uh, and also at the same time, it brings up blue eyes directly from the deck, which is really, really good. Uh, it's card, it's um, well, uh, and not only does it bring up blue eyes, but it can also special summon jet from the deck as well, too, right? Which is insane. So it's a blue eyes monster from the deck, which is so good. So like, it's a free access to jet, which is nice. Uh, of course, just the, of course, two stones. Uh, these right here, uh, really awesome to get access to. Uh, this is a recursion banished out of blue eyes from deck to from graveyard to hand. This adds blue eyes white. Uh, and you have the choice, yeah. Yeah. Ass, right? Yeah, and, and you have the choice between searching these two cards. Is really good. So it's only one of you don't want to draw these. Yeah. It's 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 also also really good with melody. Oh yeah. uh, obviously. And then of course triple dictator of D. Wow. Uh, this card right here is. It's 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 not as great as Magician Souls, obviously, but uh, it's still an extender in the deck. Uh, this this deck right here is very like simple. Uh, you end on like Heretic Seal, IP, and then Spirit Dragon and Branded Beast, and yeah. you have GG. two bis and then you have two bisses in hand. Yeah, uh, you win the duel. Uh, this deck is very it's not com it's not complex at all. It's not really a combo deck. It's more like a control deck. You make Heretic Seal, get extenders, make IP, and especially with IP and Drewsworm. Oh my God, IP Drewsworm oh, yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah. just getting an extra body in the field to really dump blue eyes. Uh, so the grave is just really really good and it can also revive back any blue eyes from the grave by pitching a blue eyes card so these are your blue eyes cards you can easily pitch uh it's not it's not, it's not a lot of cards 
but like still, like you can still pitch these to survive that blue eyes, yeah. and you can always consistently re get these to your hand. And you always search the uh, yeah. melody. Yeah, like and, uh, the deck is prosperity. always searchable. So like if you ever yeah. need a blue eyes card in hand to trigger this revive yeah. effect, you can yeah. always you can always get it with like stone add blue exactly. eyes, pitch something back blue eyes. Like there's so many ways to get blue eyes cards to the hand. And people uh, need to know those combos, it, otherwise it, it, they'll be stuck. Exactly. So uh, the kid of these is really good for that. And only and in, in the extra deck, I only have one spirit because the kid can revive this. Wow. From the grave. What? Yeah, the kid can revive any blue eyes monster. Uh, from the graveyard so what? it's like a monster reborn and it's an extender to the deck which stumps wow. the to the grave wow. which is also really important for your mystic engine to start off because you know like getting a light in the grave or dark is really important for your business cards wow. uh, so that's pretty much for your blue eyes engine i think it's the perfect engine in my opinion uh next off for the bistids oh my god bro <laughs> yo this is my favorite card this format it's like the artwork is insane but also at the same time you pitch this to the grave search any bistid monster it's also searchable with chaos space as well uh this card is absolutely ridiculous Must Play three O's, uh, triple Magnamoot, uh, triple Drew's Worm, and triple Sorinir. Uh, the, the 12 Bistids, you need to max or something like. Yo, opening two of these can end a tier elements turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the crazy thing about uh, Magnamoot is that this card searches any dragon. <laughs> so during the end phase, if you need a blue eyes card, searches any dragon for your next turn. This card is absolutely cracked. Uh, it's so good. And like I said, guys, it's like a simple deck. Like Drew's Worm IP is just so, so good. Um, and, and and even off of like Hieratic CO2 as well, uh, you can summon this card from the deck, it becomes zero, and they attack into it, it kills a card, right? Nice. Uh, so like this card, or like even a Hieratic CO bringing up this search card, uh, it's just really really awesome or and even a cool thing i saw you do is when you go into the rank six of tomb to special a dragon yes uh, yes to special these cards well, you get all your boys combos just from two bistons exactly bistons is just it's beautiful and then last but not least of course the regain and the branded beast uh toronto for your business engine uh like i said guys these like in this format i believe that every deck should be playing nine of these i agree uh, uh n nine of these and like five of these are, are, are like these 14 means team talked about it they're like the most 14 broken cards this this game like yeah. right now yeah. okay but mandatory in any deck that if you want to do well you can need nine of these okay and with branded beast this card outs mystic mind and it's an interruption every single turn and do you remember your jet play so i was ready to beat him with mystic mind i was gonna mystic mine him but jet like he had a branded beast so i was gonna i tried to destroy the branded beast because i knew my answer to win he had a five negate board i had almost cleared it i just had to do this but guess what jet jet protects the branded beast exactly. and because of that i could never mystic mine him because on his turn he would just branded beast me exactly exactly and then and, and then when branded beast pops a mystic mind and jet is in my grave jet comes back yeah and you crazy. know what's crazy it's because like the synergy that jet has with beast is so crazy because if you have like um uh, bestial, like a bestial on the field. This is your setup, right? This is your graveyard. If you use, uh, uh, okay, for example, you have this on the field, right? If you use, it's, it, the requirement is you need to control a beast and monster on the field. Yeah. You, and you contribute any dragon to destroy a card. So you tribute the jet, pop a card. What, on resolution, once the card is popped, jet triggers and grave comes back. Wow. So like it, it's it's just like jet jet <laughs> yeah. never dies. He just yeah. never dies. So it's just it's just really and, and really powerful. Uh, Blue eyes best deck. So then, so uh, then in conjunction with this and, and like then spell, bro, your no, bro, recursion is absurd. This spell card is insane. If you're putting no one's on special of the monster, I, I believe this card is like one of the best spell cards ever yeah. created. Um, uh, Yo, can you imagine these in jet? Just yeah, every just turn, like, every like, three turn, cards, like and that? then like this card right here, like whenever you're putting no one's on special of the monster, so yeah. you revive like a mist from, from the grave, uh, triggers off mana and just have like additional body in the field with juice room for like two interruptions. It's just ridiculous. And also at the same time, it's just being able to just like when a card's banished, be able to put it back to draw one that's what i said about about all my blue eyes cards is that it doesn't matter if you banish any of your blue eyes cards because as, as 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 long as you banish it and regains on the field you can just put it back with regain to draw one card Amazing. so yeah. like you're you're never losing alternative you're Amazing. never you're never losing Amazing. any of your blue eyes because regain will just get it back so yeah. these two cards are just absolutely ridiculous Amazing. i think it's i think it's so good um yeah so this is it yep this these two Toronto for the bisset cards um Next off for your chaos, of course, black, black white, uh, safer, safer as uh, safer tribute himself to search these guys, and it banishes to add Lubelion from grave to hand. So uh, I, I think I should max out on three of these. 
uh, to be honest. Uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, searchable on Chaos Space. Um, and of course, Levionaire for your Chaos Engine. Searchable as well, off Melody. Insane. Uh, hand Traps, Triple DD Crow, and Triple Skullmeister. Steven was one that told me to play these. Um, like, like, it's either this and Bell, but Bell is an Earth, right? So it doesn't yeah. really. Uh, Bell's an Earth. Yeah. Right? It's an Earth. Yeah. yeah. Bell's an Earth. So it doesn't match well with this time because you need darks in the grave uh, for your Bistids, right? And it's also for your Chaos cards. You need dark monsters. And, yeah, and, and as we mentioned with the Bistid cards together, yeah. Good, good luck to Tier Limit. Yeah, good, good luck. luck. Like, bro, like, uh, against. Uh, uh, Amar. Like, Amar, I, I opened up with this and three Bistids. Like, yeah. They, 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 and what, what happened that turn? And he, just, he, 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 he can't win. It's impossible. Yeah, he even, he even started off broken. Sheeran, yeah. he like milled all three fusions. Remember Sheeran, Mill, Agito? Impossible. Impossible. They can't like, win. Yeah. They can't win. This is, this is just, this, is, this, this engine is just insane. I think you drew Melody, right? Or yeah. was it Chaos Space? I forgot what it was. It's no, like uh, Bah Bahamut searched the belly on and, yeah, I drew, yeah. and I drew Chaos Space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is crazy. Uh, yeah, for Graveyards. Uh, uh, for Spells. I'll be honest, guys, the deck does struggle if you, if you don't see green cards. So, like, it's just, like, Chaos Space, really important. Prosperity. It does conflict, but this searches your starter engine anyway, yeah, right? Searches Lubelion. Okay. Yeah. So, it's okay. Like, this card, like, you, like, you want to see your combos. Like, Lubelion's a one card yeah. combo. And Triple Melody. Um, yeah, only if Lubelion had 3,000 2,500. Like, that would have yeah. been... <laughs> wow, that would have been ridiculous. So, that's it for the spells. Amazing main deck. Uh, amazing main deck. I feel like I could refine fine tune a little bit more. We'll figure it out as far as progresses. But Hey, but you did go 4-0 and you beat the best yeah. player in the world, Trip yes, Gaming. Yes, so. yes. Yeah, so that means I'm the best player in the world now. Ah, <laughs> got me. So, first we got Spirit Dragon, we got a Zero Eyes. Uh, I, 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 I don't think I made this, man. I don't think. It's not. Uh, and Moonlight. Hey, you I, just got me when you darked. My, remember you moonlighted my dark? Oh yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, got me. I thought yeah. I, I thought I was gonna win. Yeah, well, it's really good, but like you, sh you should not play this. It's kind of win more. Like you don't need him, so I'll, I'll cut him. But Spirit is insane. Uh, uh, a tomb wallow. Oh, you guys saw the wallow play with the, <laughs> the talents. Like, oh, my, wallow with talents. Oh, oh my. I, I love when they play talents because you just wallow it away. It's so good. Titanic and Zeus. Um, yeah, bro. Steven Celestial Magician with Baron was a crazy play. I, I didn't know that exists. Oh, they're gonna see it soon. They're gonna see the, yeah. so this is gonna be uploaded before all the duels, but they're gonna see the duels a little our later. Duels are insane. Be our duels are insane. For those that I think we're, this is cap, all of his wins. It are going to be on my channel the next over the next every, one every few days. It's crazy. You guys going to see it. It's truly 4-0. Like, like, I, I, I misplayed a lot, but... Dude, but it's 4-0. Okay. Like, we Summer. tried. We tried. You know, like, you know, like the, deck, the deck is rewarding to bad players. But, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Haraxio, double copies. This card is so good in the deck, man. Yeah. Like, the fact that it brings out any drag. Like, the reason why like the reason why these cards are so good is because... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Magnemite exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, oh, oh, who, yo, who created Magnemon, man? That card is <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, Striker Dragon, Dark Charmer. Uh, it's my favorite. Uh, Unicorn, Axis Code, Avermax. Um, you can cut him. I always banish him off of Prosperity and the IP. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice. All right, off to our side deck. Um, side deck isn't refined yet, but this is what I had. Just like a bunch of uh, so Panker Tops, Scythe. Uh, Triple Sanctum for going first. Uh, remember, our, my deck is designed just to be tears, uh, Jizu. So against any other matchups, yeah, and, and, and and honestly, like it's the the Bistios are really good against Sprite too. And the reason why is because they trade really well against Toad. Uh, so you guys don't have to worry about uh, uh, Sprite because the Bistios are really good against Sprite. Because like they're twenty five hundred beat six and Toad can't yeah, beat it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this Regeki Double Dark Hole supposed to be three Regekis, but they, they do the same thing, right? So it's same thing. Uh, yeah, just three board breakers, triple evenly, uh, triple lightning storm, and the heartbeats for the duster. Uh, just a bunch of crazy board breakers. Because usually, like, the, the way my side, pat side pattern goes is for certain matches like Plunder, uh, I take out, uh, what's it called? Uh, like all the one Bistid, one Soranir, uh, and then three the Crow, three Meisters, and I put in these. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I put in these cards. And they're not bad even going first. Like, yeah. it's not that... Uh, it's not even that bad. Obviously, like, if they clear your board, you can just break their board the next turn. Yeah. Uh, what I should have done against F Flunder, too, I didn't face any, but maybe play, like, Alantia in, in, in the main so I can tune it out with Sanctum so they can't evenly beat. Uh, but, yeah, this is my, my main deck, I, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, bro. Amazing. Bro, absolutely incredible job. Thank Anything you, you want to say? Um, I, I, I think this deck is really, really fun. Uh, we're fun to play. The Bista definitely carry the Blue Eyes engine, uh, for sure. But, uh... If you want to play a competitive Blue Eyes deck, especially any anime style based deck, you need to play the, the degenerate cards. You need to play Mystic Mind, like with the Dark Magician decklist that we showed. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to play very degenerate cards to be able to compete in today's meta. Because if you don't, and you play like the very anime stuff just purely, you're not going to make it, man. So Blue Eyes, like God gave us Bistids so we can play Blue Eyes.
wise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Have fun with this deck, and you guys will see the crazy matches on. And be be beware of the misplays. I am not, you know what I'm saying? Like it's okay, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Amazing, bro. Thank you so much. Everyone, make sure to smash the subscribe and get your people beyond the pendulum play mats. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.